The Gemara and Sukkah Mem Hey Amad Beis Amar Rashbi Rav Shimba Yechai says Yacholni Liftar Es Kala Olam Kulei Min Adin I could exempt the whole world from judgment. What does the Hele Gitana Rav Shimon mean that he could exempt the whole world from judgment? How could he exempt the whole world from judgment? It says the Marsham. The Gemara says in Sanhedrin, Daftzadi Aleph, that Antoninus says to Rebbe, I don't understand Rebbe. How could God punish anybody? L'chayra, the neshama and the guf, they both have an opt-out clause. They both have an excuse. The guf could say, I didn't do nothing. I didn't do anything. Look at me. The moment my neshama leaves my guf, I'm like a stone lying here like a rock. I'm not able to move. I didn't do anything. It's the neshama's fault. And the neshama says, look at me. When I... As soon as I left the guf, I'm a free uh, spirit and I haven't done anything wrong. So the guf could say it's the neshama's fault and the neshama could say it's the guf's fault. Neither could do without the other and therefore uh, they should both be exempt. And the Gemara gives a mashal and the mashal is as follows. The Gemara says this is like a cripple who puts a, um, who cannot get around. So he rides on top of a blind man and together they steal from an orchard. So what happened? The king finds uh, um, finds the, the Ganav, and uh, the cripple says, "Look, I, I can't. Uh, I didn't do it. I, I can't. I can't even move. I can't walk around." And the blind man says, "I didn't do it. I can't see." So the king thinks for a moment. He says, "Taka, cripple can't walk. The blind man can't see." Uh, and then the king knows what to do. He takes the cripple. He puts him on the shoulders of the blind man and he says, the same way you stole, that's how you're going to get punished. He punishes them together. So to the Rivan Sham combines, says Rebbe, the uh, guf and the neshama, and by putting the two together, he punishes them together. But the question is, it's not fair. Why can't the guf and the neshama both say that I didn't do it, he did it, I couldn't have done it without him? Well, says the Marsham, Hashem has the right to punish because we have a klal in halacha that if two people do a avera or people, two people do an iser, if neither one are able to do it, then shneim chayavim. They're both chayav. We paskin shneim paturim. If two people do something together and A could have done it by himself and B could have done it by himself. So the truth is, I'm not needed because you could have done it. You're not needed because I could have done it. So neither of us are needed. Then that's a valid taina. We could both be potter. But ze eno yachav, ze eno yachal, the halacha is shneem chayavim. So regarding the guf and the neshama, ze eno yachal, ze eno yachal, each one played a critical role and therefore they're both chayav. And the truth is, this applies to all Isurim. Comes Reb Shimon, in Masech the Shabbos, and Av Tzadi Gimel, and Reb Shimon is Mechadish, that Ze Eino Yachal, Ve Ze Eino Yachal, is also Pater. That even if I couldn't have done it by myself, and you couldn't have done it by myself, so I needed you, and my role is critical, still Pater. So according to Reb Shimon, says the Marsham, it would come out that Taka, the Guf and the Neshama, are Pater, because it's Zayin HaYachav, Zayin HaYachal, Loit the Rajbi, Loit Reb Shem Rayachai, the Guf and the Neshama are Taka, both Pater, Hashem can't punish them. This is the Pshat that Reb Shimon says, Yachal ni lifter as kal ha'olam in Adin, I can exempt the world from judgment. Said the Marsham, we don't pass good like Reb Shimon. But, on Lag Ba'aymer, the Hilula of the Rajbi, Zuchus Yagin Aleinu. His Zuchus is Megan on all the Mesim, then on Lag Ba'imer, all the Mesim in Gan Eden are Pater Menadin. This is the incredible Lamdus of the Marsham. Pshadin Reb Shimon Yacholni Liftar is called Elam Klum Menadin. Reb Shimon Lashitase Zeino Yachal Vezeino Yachal Pater. We hope Tairasai Megan Aleinu at the May the Torah of the Rashbi protect all of us and all of Kal Yisrael. Ad biyaskel tzedek v'mher v'yaminu. Amen. Thank you for listening to the Guard Your Eyes Daily Chizuk Broadcast. Pass them on to your friends and help spread Kedusha in the world.